Oh, hello. Good morrow, all. Good morning. How's everyone doing? I think I'm here. I was, uh, as you can see, by the few minutes that I was late, I was, I was running around picking up, picking up this, picking up that, trying to figure out what I needed for this stream. Uh, and it's a lot. Like I'm looking down here, and it's like we had to. It required extra storage to pull together all the stuff I needed to bring in here to sort out today. It's going to be literal madness as I don't know what I'm doing. So how are y'all doing? JD lady shot number two. Let's go. Hope you hope you have a good day today. That's that's where the challenges seem to lie on, on round two. So hopefully you're good. Hopefully you're good on, on day two. Um, yeah, I think I'm here yet this morning. I'm still, uh, Still getting my feet under me, as you can tell. We are several coffees into it. Um, we are now into water. We are into the water stage of the morning. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just getting all my stuff set up here. I'm even running behind, clicking all the correct buttons. Uh, I, th I think we're set up now. All right. <clears throat> so... Trying to decide on a couple of interesting inks for the day. I've forgotten how much I like some of the pilot. 101st anniversary ink. Get the get the name correct, like Nate, Nate Champion, the 101st anniversary. Um, the only one I have is the Daiko Kuten, which I shockingly like. I really, really like that ink, which, you know, for yellow, yellow ink is a surprise. And it's very, very enjoyable. Um, ink color and I ink it up frequently. I, that's the only one I have. What other ones do you like out of that set that are uh, kind of different than some of the other things you have? Uh, upgraded coffee machine to Nespresso. Happy with the results. Nice. Abisu was another real surprise to me. I'll have to look at that. Bonjour, board reporter. Bonjour. Tish Bouvier, thank you for the follow. So I got my bonjours out so I can say Bouvier. Abisu is the light blue. Oh yeah, I think that one was pretty cool. And then I think a lot of people like the green in that in that set of anniversary inks. <clears throat> so I'm still, we're still good. We haven't inked up any new pens since yesterday. Although there has been a there has been a threat, there's been a threat of inking, but we're not going to do that yet. I've been using some other pens. Um, I'm I'm really all over this Kasama right now. I should probably do an official proper review of it before it gets to the uh, products I talk about 500 times without having a review. Which um, the Y Studio Brassing has fallen into that category. The Ackerman 28 has fallen into that category. The King of Pen fell into that category, right? This Kasama is going to be ended up one of those pens I just use all the time. Don't shut up about it and then never have a link for anyone to go uh, see. What about the price value relationship of the anniversary inks? Usually I'm disappointed in that relationship. I thought these were fair. They were, um, I, they didn't seem to be too off base from what I recall, but if, if someone could bring them up. Roshizuku has been the rare product uh, over the past couple years have lowered the price. Uh, Pilot 101st Anniversary Inks. AKA 100th Anniversary that didn't release until the 101st year. Rebuzzles, good morning. Snow or sauna today in Colorado? You never know. You never know. Just got a Y Studio came in the mail yesterday. Nice. They went on sale after a while. I bought the sampler set. That's a great idea because those were big enough samples. What are they, 15 milliliters? Favorite Irushizuku ink is Shinkai. I, my, mine are boring. Shinkai, Sukiyo, Kanpeki, probably in that order. Temperature, Colorado is having a normal day. All the rain in Colorado, it's so humid, we don't know what to do. That's my that's my realm. Today, we're like in the 50s and cool. I have the windows open. It's going to be like 65 today. It's great. Which is weird for May. Like, it's usually 85 today, but I'll take it. I'll take it. So, yeah, that 15 milliliter uh, 
inks anniversary inks that was really cool i gave that i gave one of those sets away uh back when they came out a year late so yeah colorado humidity 10 10 12 percent something like that mm. so but overall like it it wasn't like 10 awesome inks it was 10 good inks with a couple of like standouts so yeah but uh back to my kasama we will we're gonna we'll see if i actually review it before i clean it that's gonna be the challenge that will be the real challenge <clears throat> so um today we're gonna work on something i've needed to get done for well over a month i feel like the ink box on the ice bottle of happiness is staring at me yeah that's the uh dutch masters ackerman bottle that is israel zeblau that's only one of the dutch masters one i have again blue inks just like i'm saying all my favorite Orochizuku inks three of the blues i still haven't gotten the hot pink one which one's that one momji momiji moji <laughs> The hot pink one's probably next on my list. I have Yuyake and Fuyugake, but I don't use those as much as some of my other orange. I prefer Yuyake. Um, I think that's most of my Orochizukus. How has no one done a similar bottle or source to Ackerman? It's interesting because for that bottle, uh, the price is still reasonable, which there's that's good. Like I'm, I'm surprised at the price. Um, knowing those bottles and what we are, what we are told as as consumers about bottles. <clears throat> so, I think I'm good on Ackerman though. Like I have like a good six bottles of Ackerman, and and I don't need any more colors. Morning, Josh. I definitely don't need any more colors of Ackerman ink. Shocking blue is potentially the best blue. So I always tell the story when I would go out with Van S pens to pen shows. We would carry three to four X shocking blue versus every other color and would still sell out of it. That's how popular shocking blue is in relation to the rest of the lineup. Is that number four? Shocking blue number four. Correct me if I'm wrong there. But yeah, you we would have to inventory four times as much shocking blue and still sell out of it. So great ink. The the theory is it was it's your Parker Penman Sapphire replacement that people enjoy you know finding trying to find something close and it just ends up being a great blue ink <clears throat> so this is in the the lighting's interesting today it's very very bright i don't know that's a good thing for stream all right y'all ready to get into this i don't know how we're going to do this to be perfectly honest this is some work that I've needed to get done for a while. I'm, the, I, I'm actually making myself a room here because I'm going to need it. <clears throat> so one of the things I do at the Pen Addict... Good morning, Coca-Lina. Um, is I get most of the products that we review on the blog directly. So... Unless we're getting a loaner pen that needs to have some kind of quick turnaround. Usually I don't even agree to those things on the front end. But I very rarely ship directly to the reviewers. Sarah, Susan, and Jeff. Um, just because I like to sort them out, separate them, have certain people do certain things. And I've run into a bit of a backlog here. Um, of stuff that needs to go. This is the review pile for future possible reviews. Now, I don't send, I send all these things out to the review crew, 
but they don't have to review all the things, right? They just like if if it's something that's compelling, or sometimes I'll say definitely review this. The rest of the stuff I don't care about, right? You know, like if a if a if a site sponsor sends it, and and we'll usually review that, right? Like because I've usually had some, um, like um, I've been able to like pick out some of the products, right? That I know we want to review or would be good review items. So I keep all this stuff by my desk in the bedroom, which is where I do a lot of my my writing work and things like that, and this pile has gotten out of hand because I have done a poor job for the reviewers in shipping them the goods. So let me show you what I had to do to get all this stuff in here today. I think I'm going to need to stand up. We'll see. No, I can find it. So this is what we have to sort out today. Some of this is my stuff that is on my list to review. Um, but most of this stuff needs to be gone. Early Christmas for your reviewers need another. You never know. You never know. <clears throat> so this is what we're going to try to manage today. And I got to sort, essentially, this out of that bin comes five different piles, right? So three reviewers, Sarah, Inkwell Monster here in the chat, Susan Piggott, and Jeff Abbott. My pile, which are things that I take on directly. And then, am I on early? No, you're just nuts. <laughs> I think that's a clear, proven fact this point and then the fifth pile is like giveaway items right like it's giveaways for mostly blog stuff um but then we have to fill the the ice box of happiness too um so there might be some stuff that shifts into the ice box from here but it's stuff that can get away from me when i get a lot of small stuff or just i don't know i got there's a lot in here so uh nice watch is that a seiko diver i guess so i'm trying to like I've been, so I have an Apple Watch Series 3. This is like, yeah, this is the Divers 200 meter, I guess. So inexpensive sailor, but like cool looking. So I've been, um, I wanna do reviews. Can I do reviews? <laughs> Maybe, you never know. Um, so my Apple Watch, I don't really switch out the bands on it and I've been, I wear it outside a lot and like if I play pickleball or at baseball so I'm sweating and it's stinking it bugs me and I clean it like all the time trust me it's not like gross or anything but I was like well maybe I'll just try to wear a different watch um, instead of my Apple watch all the time and see how I like it and this is the one that you had it has that it's got like the movement I don't know what the I'm not a watch person so I don't know how like the uh, the gra the the moving like helps charge it up right so I'm trying to wear it so it'll hold a charge more than a day so automatic, yeah. See, I don't know the watch stuff. So, um, yeah. So I'm just, I'm, I'm wearing it to like build up, build up the battery life. So, there you go. So it's, it's so much heavier than like my Apple Watch. But yeah, that's it. All right. I think almost everything in here you've seen before. But that's part of the thing is like I've said it like I've done these unboxings, showed you these things, and it's like, hey, I need to send I need to send this to such and such. Well, it goes in this pile, and then I never send it. Morning killer sheep. So, like this, I'm. So like this is in here, right? So we're gonna go through this box. Um, we should probably. We'll see if we stick with this camera or not here today. We probably will, at least for a little bit. So I'm pretty sure this is the, it's been a while since Brad Christmas, yeah. So the problem is, Sarah, like normally, like I'll sort things out in like a little bag and put your name on it. Just, this is makes it easier for me to carry to the shipping department. I usually don't ship it in the bags or sometimes I do if there's a bunch of inks. 
like there's no way these little baggies are gonna these large ziploc bags are gonna work today i'm pretty sure this is the plazier i ordered for myself um it's been reviewed several times on the blog i think jeff has reviewed one i don't know if sarah or susan has reviewed one um so i but people ask me what i think about it and i always say hey it's good um but i've never actually done my review so i ordered the dark blue one or the procyon excuse me the procyon um for me so like this goes into my review stash right so i want to get my feedback on this on this pen paltrow's head this isn't a goop stream busy eating bread she's busy having to eat bread chat so yeah this is like that mid-range platinum i want to get a really good idea yeah i'm out of the i missed the missed the quotes and all that stuff um you have that exact pin and medium so what a nib did i get i got a fine nib in this one so i want to give my thoughts on this one right like i want to take this one on directly because it's gotten such good reviews. Um, Jeff, I believe, has reviewed it for the blog. So I'm gonna take this one on myself. So we have a Brad stash, so let's start. What does the material feel like? Um, like a um, anodized aluminum. I did get a fine nib on this one. So I got anodized, it's a, it feels like a anodized, smooth anodization. I'd like to hear a review or comments on the Platinum President one day, maybe just to say why is it ignored. Yeah, it's consistently ignored. Um, all right. So, like, this is this is the problem. This is the first thing out of the box that's overflowing. It needs to go in the Brad pile, but I don't know where to put that right now. Like, I'm flummoxed. Maybe here for now. Maybe here. Because all this stuff needs to go to the shipping department, right? This stuff's got to go. We're going to go in blind. There's some big... Oh, God these I haven't figured out what to do with right I still have two of these sitting here so this is the launcher uh, the heavy pin I don't know what the name of it is other than the heavy pin and Sarah don't hold me to anything that I say today there's some stuff that's definitely going to you but I might mix and match afterwards um, so this is this might be a good comparison for Sarah to do versus the Gravitas pen today. So like Sarah just reviewed the Skull Gravitas pen and that's a pretty big heavy pen. Do you like the big heavy pens? Because that's what this is. This might actually be lighter than the Gravitas pen, but longer. So this is a cool pen. Uh, Watcher sent me two of these, but it's like, I need to review one and then probably give one away. They, these are pretty these are pretty heavy. So then you have that. Then you have this. <laughs> I like that about about thing. So then this is the other one. They probably have names. And I'm just being Yeah, no idea. These probably have names, but I don't know. Um, but they're real they're really kind of cool. So like the blue one has the anodized nib. which is actually real nice. So, so I really should give one of these away, but I need to review it first. And do I review it? Does one of the review crew review it? Like, what do we do here? I like their little kimonos too. Um, so this is why I never get anything done. <laughs> so Wancher's probably yelling at me. 
because oh yeah this wouldn't be sorry i love you stream we're gonna do plenty of stream giveaways today we'll probably find stuff in this box i'm not giving this away on stream this goes on the blog so i, I need to i need to figure these out before long because they need to get reviewed frosty silver and midnight blue thank you vlad so the purpose of this stream today was for me to figure out what to do with this stuff and i'm sitting here unable to figure this out when an obligation to review a pen that's funny so i think i'm gonna put this in my stash for now This is fun. This is Brad decides who gets all the stationery, and the answer is himself. <laughs> what did you miss? Nothing much. Me just trying to figure out what to do with all this stuff. You know, first world prop, first world stationary blogger problems. So, I'm gonna put this in the hold. This is in the hold, uh, hold stash. Because I'm definitely keeping one of them here to give away. I just got to decide if I'm going to be the one to review them or not. Set us up a poll <laughs> to vote who gets it. I think Sarah would win. All right. These are those, I, I've opened two of these, unboxed two of these uh, recently. This is the uh, Fine Writing International Acrylic Pens. How does this open? I really want this box to slide out, okay. So that's this one. There's another one in here somewhere. I can't remember if this is the first or second one that I got. You could have your reviewers do a draft, that would be fun. That actually would be very fun. So, Two of these. I think I'm gonna send this to Susan because she really likes these blue colors. That would be hilarious. So this one's gonna go to Susan. We haven't reviewed this model yet. Yeah, this is the one with the silly clip with the cool materials. So this one's gonna go to Susan. I'm glad I've solved one problem so far today. All right, we're just gonna stick these in these bags for now until I, uh... yeah, I was not expecting the brown on the back of that, yeah. I don't have a Sharpie in here. The man with his own Sharpies does not have a Sharpie in here. Oh, ballpoint will work here, won't it? I at least have to have a little bit of organization just to carry this stuff out because these are going to be like <laughs> these are going to be like three pound boxes you've had a sub and a follow but no alerts thank you that is weird um hells 11 months of subbing good grief that's awesome sushi zuni cupcake mma 78 thank you for following and thank you for letting me know i have the alerts turned on now i was messing around with them in the background too the other day so i'm wondering if i also did something but i did have it have that box checked off for now so thank you corinne very very important uh stuff so uh susan sarah like these bags are going to be worthless here in a few minutes susan sarah jeff but yeah these are going to be like $30 worth of postage on each of these boxes by the time I get done here. All right. Let's see. I think this is a me. This is one of the things I do um, is the, the pins that I order for myself that I do eventually want to review, I throw the boxes in 
in this stash too because I don't want to file away the box until I do the review. Oh, I lied. This isn't the pen I thought it was. This is a giveaway pen. You forgot the Beth bag? I got the Beth email. It was a really good email. I have to work on that email. Well, this is a surprise. This is why we have to do this. I didn't know this was in here. This is going to be a giveaway. This might be a member's giveaway. Platinum 3776. What nib is on this? It's pretty sad. Like, I just discover stuff. What nib is this? It's really hard to see. Soft fine. It is the Bourgogne. Bourgogne soft fine nib. It's like opening a loot box, except you're the one that filled it. Well, these normally do have, these don't have a sticker. They have the, uh, just like when I pulled out the Procyon, they usually have a clip, uh, clip tag. So this will be a member's giveaway. So this goes into the giveaway pile. Right, let's put this back in here. That's why it's out instead of stored away in the closet of doom. So I remember it <laughs> in case of giveaway so this will go with the launchers because one of those is going to be a blog giveaway that's going to be a members giveaway i need to write a note on here Ooh, i was having trouble picking which pen to write my note with I don't think I own a soft medium. I have a soft fine in my missing platinum. All right, that one's good. All right, decision. We have decision, that one. All right. This one, we're gonna decision quickly because I know where it's going. I'm sending this to Sarah. This, and I've said I've been gonna, I was gonna send this to her like a month ago when I unboxed it. This is the um, the Nebula, the Colorverse Nebula um, notebooks. It's like their new premium style notebook. Sarah gets a lot of the big bulky notebooks because she actually uses them like crazily. So I know she's gonna give this a good run. And I, I saved the sticker here. This is from Gold Spot. So she can, uh, she can use the sticker for somewhere. so that goes with sarah so that goes in sarah's back so sarah gets a lot of the bulky notebooks because i know she will put them through the ringer this ayush paper I think I'm gonna to send to Susan so she can run them through the fountain pen ringer that she's really good at like dissecting the paper um, and have the three styles. I might just keep the little graph pad. And then lined in this A5 and then this A4 blank. Yeah, these are gonna to go to Susan. I'm gonna hang on to the little the little one for me. <clears throat> these are definitely fountain pen friendly. We tested these out on stream. Uh, they do a good job. So if you're liking like a, a bound, like top bound type of paper stuff. All right, little, little graph grid guy goes to me. These are gonna go to Susan.
fill all the notebooks. All right, these Shibuis that we just opened. I think, Sarah, I think I'm going to send you the A5 Shibui, the one that I had a problem with the uh, zipper, and just see, like, if and when you use it, it's a uh, uh, good enough good enough product um hmm this is the standard three pin i'm gonna keep the short pin one i'll get to them they're kind of buried i don't know what to do with this one yet let me think about this one i might send that to jeff i think i'll send this one to jeff because I'm going to send you the A5 one, and I'm going to do the mini pin one. So the, welcome to my brain chat. This is what I do at home, except I'm doing it live on stream right now. Um, when we sort things out. What am I sending, Tony? I don't know. we figure something out. Yeah, this is gonna fail very quickly. Oh, the other thing, one of the things I'm failing to do here. So I have to keep track of who sent me what and what I got from where. So let me backtrack. We need to put, okay, that says gold spot on the notebook. Um, this is from Jet Pins. Sorry, so the reviewers have to know where I got the stuff, right? So. We're using the little Mormon this little guy rip up some notes here because the review crew needs to know where to credit the product so this is jet pins This is, so the Ayush paper is direct from Ayush. So we're just gonna say direct here. And Sarah, there's a gold spot sticker on your notebook. So you know where that's from. I know, right? I already don't have time to sort this stuff out, I certainly don't have time to label it properly. Usually I'll, I'll include like a note, like a, like a single note card that says which each one is for. But since we're doing this live here and I'm, I, I'm not really organized, we're just gonna do this individually. So the Shibui was from them. Brad is writing, we need a spelling poll, probably. Especially when I'm writing and thinking. It's a terrible combination. Really, really bad combo. All right. Because I found some paperwork in the box that I save on purpose to make sure I, I credit things correctly. It's be, being a member the same as a follower subscriber. You know, I just listened to Cortex, um, and there's so many different words so that we use. So there's a lot of different things. I talk about pen Attic members a lot, so that's a direct support on the blog um, product. Yeah, so when I talk about membership, that's what I'm talking about. Um, the bullet journal, the new bullet journal, did these ever get back in stock? 
I don't know what to do with this. Recommendations. I want a review of this product. I don't want to do it. Does Sarah want to do it? Susan might could use it. Because this is just like crazy quality. Steph, you want to review it? Oh. Seems Jeff. Kind of. I'm debating whether I should do it. This is so nice. They did a really good job making these. You want to do a, you want to do a, you want to review it stuff? I'll pay you like I pay all my writers. Yeah. Miss G's Crafties does. Yeah, like this needs like a real legit review. So we'll let y'all, Steph, you can email me or we can talk about it or. Blood Storm paper quality has gone down. Yeah, they put the they put thicker paper in this one. I think. Of course, they don't list it on the outside. So your check is in the mail? No. I did pay Andrew though. Yeah, we can talk about it. Like this needs like a legit review. All right, we'll put that on the hold hold stash. Like I forget I have these things. All right, what are these? Um, new theme system journal. New. Um, Masubi. This must, I get this is Masubi, right? It's gotta be. Is this Cosmo Air Light? Yeah, but is is it the Cosmo Air Light? Like I, I do kind of wish I could tell. I'm assuming it is. Cause he doesn't do Tomoe in long. Yeah, so this is the folio version of the Cosmo Air Light. Let's see, I reviewed one. I have a new theme system I can renew if you want to give away that one. Yes, all right, easy. Yeah, this is the new build with all the extra stuff. Sarah. Oh, he does uh, Tomoe River Lined? And Tomoe Rivers are gray, co gray covers, right? Is that the differentiator? Um, have we done a direct Cosmo Air Light review besides my Masubi? I'm going to send this to Susan. There's the thing, Skirface. Eight months. A subbing. Thanks, man. Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. All right. Big Shibui. Big Shibui. This one's going to Sarah. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. No, no, this one's mine. The big one's down there. So this one I'm taking on. This is the mini pin, the mini, the small size uh, pin case. So I'm gonna review this one. And we'll just do like a Kaveco Sport shown design spoke pin type of thing with this one. Um, so yeah, that's an easy one. That one's me. This one is Sarah. So I think Sarah can destroy this one appropriately. And by destroy, I mean fill it up to the max and push it to its limits and then figure out this zipper issue. You'll remember this, but I'm just going to put direct on here anyway. It's really nice. I just, you know, just flawed pin holder design. Um, we're going to get to some giveaways here in just a second too, chat. We'll, we'll see if we can find something from this stash to give away. So this is Sarah... This is already going to be an epic failure. Toby is laying next to me on the couch. He just, he is not into this stream at all. Um, we're going to, I'm going to save this for last. This has some older stuff, some smaller stuff. I'm just going to get it out the way for right now. What is this? Ink and Volt notepad. Let's give this away on chat. I think I've reviewed, I don't think this is any change in what we've reviewed for them in the past. This is a dot grid version of their standard journal. Sorry, you can see on my lighting in the, I haven't opened this. So it's ink and vault, navy covered dot grid. Um, format. So let's give this one away. We can do a chat giveaway on this one. All right, let's give this one away. There's gonna be a lot, there might be, there's gonna be several giveaways today, <laughs> I have a feeling. All right, giveaway. Ink and Bolt. All right. Let's give that one away. Exclamation point raffle. Ink and Volt A5 size journal. This looks a little taller than A5. Maybe it's actual A5. I don't know. Look at all the inceptions we get. So. All right. While we're doing that, I can tell you all the next thing is going to be me. I said dot grid, yes. The hobo pouch I'm keeping. This is one I ordered for me. Um, fig I just haven't figured out what to use it for yet and what to make make it from. So this is something I'm gonna try to sort out, figure out what we got going on here. It's a cool little, cool little accessory pouch. The Habanas are not A5. The quote Quovatis Habana. I thought the Quovada Sabanas were A5s. So yeah, this one's, that one's me. Um, This one's easy too, because we just opened this. Sarah's getting this massive case full of stuff. I mean, the case is open, but this is the one with 80 billion different pockets. Quite bigger than the A5. Interesting. Thank you, Tam Servo. I'm surprised these A5-ish notebook vendors don't sell yardish sticks. So you can sort of measure all your things. It would be a meterish stick. But yes, 
So we talk about this one. I'm definitely this one's definitely going to Sarah to just fit like all school supplies and all kinds of stuff in it. And this one is from Jet Pins. Havana is A five ish, just inch or so tall or half an inch wider. Interesting. I did not know that. All right, so the giveaway is closed. I will pick a winner after I write jet pins on this. And we are already way past stash. Ink and Vault winner, the TARDIS case, yeah. JD Lady. JD Lady, you have won. Oh, Toby, did you like that name? JD Lady. JD Lady won. Recent winner, JD Lady. Toby's a big fan. Sorry, sorry I woke you up, buddy. He has sleep face. You know what to do, JD lady. You know the rules. While other all the other non-winners <laughs> suffer. All right. Sorry, buddy. You can go back to sleep. You can go back to sleep now. All right. There'll be more giveaways momentarily. All right, this is the other Fine Writing International. First one went to Susan. Oh. Sarah, are you listening? I need to tell Sarah something. Stop knitting for a second. So this is the second fine writing international. Yeah, this is the one. All right, Sarah, I have requested the new Bennu pen. I forget the name of it. In Dragon's Blood to send to you. I'm, I mean, they're going to send it to me. But they're sending me the new one called Dragon Blood. I requested this yesterday. And I'm gonna send that to you for review. So that's gonna be in your your stash. But I'm probably gonna go ahead and send this stuff. And then I'll send the dragon blood. Talisman, yes. So you're getting the talisman and dragon blood. And a broad nib. I went with a broad nib. So yeah, this is the new This is another fine writing international. I think I'm gonna send this to Jeff. So Susan has one, Jeff is getting this one. So yeah, like I didn't, the, so the Talisman series is their new one. Um, and I reviewed the last one and I know Sarah is a Bennu fan. So Sarah's getting that one. And Jeff is getting this one. This is from Jet Pins. Making headway, chat. Making headway. Toby left, though. He was tired of me annoying him. What is this? Oh, this is the pin BBS. Now, this one I don't know what to do with. I kind of feel like I need to do this one. This is that new pin BBS. Hmm. I kind of I kind of feel like I need this one in my review repertoire to be able to talk about it since I've never reviewed one. Um, Susan's reviewed some pin BBS stuff. I think I'm gonna take this one on. I need this experience to be able to discuss them. so I'm gonna take this one. 
so yeah. All right. Brad gets this one. I like the wrap more than the pen. I like both. I like the pen. Brad will take this one, especially if it's extra fine. What did I order? A lot of times I'll do that. A lot of times when I order something, if I order it extra fine, I know I meant it for me to review. And if I order it like uh, fine, medium, or broad, I meant it for someone else to review. I cannot see what this says. I think that's an F. They do like a cursive on there. They may not have had EF on this one. So F. Question, when you want to review new brands, you reach out to them or do they tend to reach out to you? I almost never reach out to anybody. I never ask for any products. Um, new brands reach out to me a lot and sometimes we, you know, sometimes they'll send me stuff to look at, to review. I never promise a review to anybody. Right? So my standard, I should probably have this in text expander. My standard response is, as from from a new brand, let's just pick new brand B. All right, new brand B says, hey, would you take a look at our product? You know, we can send you this. And I'll say, yeah, absolutely. I don't guarantee I will, I will be happy to take a look at it. I don't guarantee that I will review it. If I do choose to review it, I can't guarantee when I review it or if the review will be positive. If all that sounds good to you, here's my address. So that's how I, that's how I operate. Um, now when I have, after we've built a relationship, you know, say let's take Bennu that we just talked about. Bennu reaches out to me when there's a new product because I'm not keeping up with like what's new and going asking for the new thing. Bennu says, hey, here's the new stuff. Can we send you one? Pick out what you want. And then I'll just go through the thing, pick it out, say, send me this one, um, something like that. So. There you go. Does that, did I answer your question? But I almost never reach out. Um, I don't reach out to, um, I don't like to do, I don't like to be the first initiator of contact. Generally. I can't think of the last time I said, hey, I saw this, it's cool. Will you send me one? Yeah, that's gonna be up to Sarah, Andrew. But I figured she'd be down with dragon's blood. All right. <clears throat> I think this is going to go to Susan. So this is the, um, the extra fine. You can order it separately. Okay. So this is the uh, Le Bon Apollo. Obviously, orange ink. This looks really cool. I think I'm gonna send this to Susan. Little square bottles, Apollo orange. These look nice. Oh, Talmax, thank you. That is the proper follow-up. If you do see something that is cool, will you just buy it on your own, then maybe review it 100%. That's what I do. Yeah, if I see something cool, I'm just gonna buy it. I just wanna be that guy. Like, I don't wanna be that guy. I just wanna be anonymous, buy the thing, and then I'll just, I'll review it, you know, if I feel like reviewing it. Like, if I think it's going to be a good review. Yes, 100%, I'll just buy the thing. So, yeah. These look, take a sample for yourself before it goes. Nah. That just ends up in this whole black hole of stationery, Andrew, right? I, like, I'm not overly concerned, <laughs> you know, about having it. Uh, even though it's orange. So that's going to get a Susan. And this is from Gold Spot. <clears throat> I mean, it would be smart for me to take a sample. Have you seen the Closet of Doom? So yeah, Talmax, that happens a lot. Could always ink another pen with it. I've done that before. I rarely do that. Which one did I do that with recently? There's an ink I sent off that I had to have a sample of. 
Susan reviewed it. I can't remember. Uh, sorry if you covered this before and I missed it, but how do you and the other TPA writers decide who reviews what? Has there ever been one product everyone wanted to review? So this is kind of what we're doing now. I receive 95% of the products that we're going to review. And then I kind of parcel them out and like each reviewer kind of has like a group of things that in general they review and then we i kind of mix it up and match in between um between reviewers like i was saying before i send sarah a lot of the big notebooks because she's a writer and she actually uses this stuff like crazy um and then she's also a Bennu pen fan so i got the Bennu going to her um susan likes like paper and inks so like the cosmo air light paper and then this orange ink like that's kind of feels like a susan thing to me and then jeff does kind of everything he does everything from like the gel pens and mechanical pencils to like um entry level fountain pens mid-range fountain pens so like he has the fountain pen international um pen and like there's some like technical pens in here that are going to be his uh, he's going to get a gravitas pen in here like so i kind of have an idea of who i want to review stuff and then if they see something say like if susan susan has done this before and sarah's may have done this before that says hey i saw this do you think we could borrow we could get one on loan for review and sometimes i'll work with a vendor to make that happen but um it's almost it's it's my decision, but not really in a dictatorship kind of way. Mostly just because I get the products, and I've we've got a good like history of knowing work what works well for each type of person. So you still won't know what's coming, Sarah, because by the time it arrives, you'll have forgot that these things were in it. And I mean, that's what I do anyway. Um, does that help, Lady Dark Lilac? So I'll receive most of everything or I'll request most of the stuff and, um, and then just parcel it out. But for example, um, Scribo, 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 their pens are very expensive, right? And number one, Scribo was working with Van S. Um, and Vaness wanted to send me one to review. And Susan also had requested to review a Scribo. So we figured out which one she wanted to review. Vaness loaned us the pen, sent it directly to Susan. Susan reviewed it. Then I coordinated sending it back. So like there's a thing. Uh, Boyd Report, have you got a spreadsheet or a Trello or something to figure out what's out, what's out for review? So I started to do like uh, Todoist does a little Kanban. And I haven't been good at keeping it up, but yes, I have to, I need to track these things. So what I do is I, I rarely, like, I'm using Sarah as an example a lot because she's in here. Like, I'll send all this stuff to Sarah, and Sarah then has free reign to do whatever she wants with the products, review whatever she wants, when she wants, or choose not to review the product, period. Um, on the rare occasion, there's something I have to have done, like I've... You know, like I really think this is like the really best product to review or want to be sure that we get a review in on X product. I'll say, hey, move this towards the top of the list. That's pretty much all the input I have. They have free reign on doing everything. What is this? I don't know what to do with this pen. So I'll probably keep it. Uh, maybe Jeff. Hmm. I think Jeff might be good. This is that hand script little metal pen that I opened the other day. Um, so yeah, I'm op I've, if y'all didn't realize, I'm very open about talking about this stuff. I'll tell you how we do all these things. So, um, I think this is Jeff. I like Jeff to do like these smaller black EDC looking mechanical metal type of pens, even though this is a fountain pen. I think this is like right up Jeff's alley. I th that's what I think. <laughs> Do you ship to reviewers on the same schedule as sending to Mike? I'm a little bit better, but this in this particular instance, I, this was a failure on my part of a huge delay. So we've also had some 
some like uh, background things going on. Like Jeff needed some time off for a while, so I wasn't sending anything. And then, you know, Sarah got, um, we did an order direct from JetPen, so I didn't have to send to her. And then Susan's had a pretty decent backlog and has also been super busy. So I wasn't in a huge rush to get these out, but now I'm overflowed and I should have been sending these out all along. So it's not quite on that schedule, on the mic schedule. I'm all caught up with Mike right now, though. So there you go. So yeah, this is an interesting little pin. I just know if I keep it, I will never get to it. So we'll put it in Jeff's queue. See what he thinks. And like I said, if I send a product to someone and they just hate it, they don't have to review it. I'm just like, oh, I don't want to waste my time. We, uh, we, I've covered this before. We talk about bias and reviews. I'm never biased towards brands. I'm always biased towards good products, right? So I will not review your product if I think it sucks because I don't want to waste my time just killing a product for, you know, spend all this time doing that just to have like a big negative review out there. Like the product can just suck in anonymity. <laughs> Susan is making her own stationery these days. She is insane with that stuff it's fascinating to watch all right whoa that was a beep <clears throat> greg t two months in advance subbing that is cool thank you man i appreciate that thank you thank you thank you let's go all right decision time here what if it's a big brand with a marquee product okay that's actually a different question so it's like these are not hard fast rules right so if it's a marquee product it is worthwhile to have that information out there i believe does that mean does that make sense so i would consider that differently let's just take mont blanc for example and i get a mont blanc product and i think there's like a technical problem with that it's worth reviewing the pen and then discussing like the technical problems i have with that pen or aurora or some of these big brands. Like, the one I always go back to is when Aurora came out with their new Flex Nib, right? When they came out with the new Flex Nib, they wanted to send me one to review, and I sent it to Susan because that's kind of in her wheelhouse. OSU, I'll get that, and Andrew, I'll get that as well. Um, so with this Aurora flex nib, we sent it and like, I'm of the opinion that this is not a flex nib, that it's a soft nib. And I don't, I don't lead the witness, even though Sarah's listening to me discuss products a lot more than like Susan, but Susan got the pen and I did not discuss it with her. She emails me back. She's like, Brad, like, this is not going to be a good positive review. And I'm like, okay and <laughs> like i don't care it's like my only reply to that is ever are you telling the truth are you being honest with yourself and are you are you writing your honest feelings about the pen she says yes and i was like that's all i need i don't care what the review says if this is what you believe she says, so she sends me the review and I post it, and she has the exact same thoughts on the nib that I do, right? This is not, it's just not a flex nib. It's just not. And we post it, and I'll never forget <laughs> that my feedback was, well, I guess we're not sending that to Aurora. <laughs> and like, that end of the story. That was it. Like, that's how, yeah, Sarah did the Twi Twisby Classic. Like, those things are different, right? Like, I think there is some, like, public service to some of these things, right? So, an odd thing, it's an odd thing, silence in the stationary world seems to be a negative review. Maybe a little bit. But I don't know, I mean, of course that's not fair, but. Who knows? So, there you go. Those are those things come up like from time to time. Like I would not hesitate to like that's different than say like the Vinvestus pen, which is one of the only products I've ever sent back saying I will not review this pen because it is so flawed 
that it will, I will just be literally killing it the entire review, right? As opposed to the Aurora, where it's technically a good pen. Like, it's a really awesome pen. I use that pen all the time. It's just not a flex nib. So let's have a discussion about that. That doesn't mean it's a bad pen, right? So there you go. Then it's more of a review, like in that particular case, it's a more review. Here's what they attempted to do. Did they succeed in that? It's not necessarily a negative. You have invested as a whole, whole can of worms type of situation. All right, the glyphies. So we have 60, let me sort out what I have here. I have 60s, 126s, 60, 60. I've been using, is this A6 or B6? A6, and then these are B6. I need to think about this because I need to give, I'm gonna give one of these, I'm gonna give this away on the blog. So this is the B6 60 GSM. That's good, Ooh, sorry camera, damn. <laughs> sorry if I wrecked you there. Um, B6, that's definitely a giveaway. Mm. I've got one of these that I'm using. B6 to Tony, no. That's easy. Um, what do we got going on here? Let's do the B6 to Jeff because he doesn't have any paper yet. Oh, I need to write a note on here. <clears throat> All right, this is going to go to Jeff. Sketchbook, I don't know what to do with. Oh, I meant to go back to the other questions. So OSU asked me about the A5 folio. I emailed them and I feel good enough about their response to go ahead and look at this and send it to Sarah. She can choose not to review it if she doesn't want to. Uh, I'm gonna send it to Sarah and we like i'm free to like put in the comments i had like that i that i shared with them um about the product so like i felt good about their response that they're going to like change some things up um the black wing long point um sharpener was a product that fell into boy reporters category of where I feel it's popular enough, but it's flawed that like someone should like it needs to be like looked at, and I wasn't the only one saying that. So yeah, that was that was one of those things. Why is this paused? Okay, all right. Um, let's see. I've got one. Jeff has one. Sorry, this is why I, I'm I never get this done. I have one for giveaway. Y'all want this one? All right, see you, Andrew. Y'all want this one? Then I'm gonna send the sketchbook to Susan. We'll give this one to y'all. All right, so that'll be our next giveaway today. 
Do you have an artist reviewer? I need an artist reviewer. I've had some off and off in the off and on in the past. Like uh, Nick Foltz has done some pa uh, some stuff for me regularly. Maybe I'll send this to Nick. That's actually a good idea, Slumberland Studio. I'm gonna send this to Nick. Because he does a lot of drawings in this size. I am not taking applications for reviewers. But you never know. You never know. I will let you know if I am. So yeah, good call. I'm gonna send that to Nick. That will be perfect for him. And then I'm gonna give this away to y'all. All right, so this is gonna be, oh, let me figure out one more thing while I clear my desk, then we'll come back and give this away. I don't know what to do with this. This is kind of cool. Um, this is what uh, Queen of Washi told me I need in my A5 disc bound planner for my extra notes. Hang on, let me check these real quick. Um, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna hold this, for, I'm gonna put that on hold for a minute. I don't know what to do with that. It's a really, yeah, it's a neat product. It's a neat product. Well, Slumberland Studio, if you're interested, email me. I also have another question for you. Anyway, so you should email me regardless. Oh, I, I can't write the winner of the giveaway unless I give it away, can I, chat? All right, we're going to give this away. All right, so this is going to be for the Gliffy A6 that we just decided. Gliffy A6. This is the one I'm currently using and reviewing. All right. I have an A6 William Hanna as well, and you can use those sheets as partials in the A5. It makes for a pretty good setup. Yeah. So, yeah, this is the one I'm using. Well, it's buried under that stash right now, but I'm testing. I'm going to review this size when I do my review. You got a minute left. I'm going to look at another thing. I think I'm going to send this to Susan. She gets all the big pads too, seems like. So this is the Midori MD Cotton. This is F3. I think that one is easy. Huge. So I get all this stuff I send to these reviewers. I actually don't have boxes these this that can fit all their crap sometimes. <laughs> First world problems, right? Oh, Brad, don't send me so much stationery that you don't have a box big enough to fit it all in. Oh, no. Please stop. All right. That bag is officially done all right and this giveaway is officially done let's see who the winner is that reminds me you switched away and found another box supplier who was that east coast packaging they've been doing a good job for me east coast packaging i got that recommendation from uh, caroline weaver all right pick a winner here namiki winner vlad finally 
Not a Namiki, but a Gliffy. Finally. First time, long time. Let's go. <laughs> he gets to change his name back now. <laughs> so good. Finally. A dub. <laughs> it was never going to happen until it did. Awesome. <laughs> Can change their name back now. All right. We've almost cleaned out this box. There's a couple things that are staying in here. I don't know what to do with. Let me get out all this stuff so I don't have to reach it. I know the answers to some of these, too. Right in a Mickey over the Gliffy. There you go. So I'm going to send the ballpoint to Jeff. I do that. One of the things I do sometimes is take the product that I should or want to review and send it to someone else to get let them uh, give their opinion on it. Um, so like... I, I should review this one, but I think I'm going to take the fountain pen. So someone linked Sarah's uh, blog post today. So she did the fountain pen with the skulls on it today. So I'm going to do the fountain pen. I'm going to send Jeff the ballpoint. Because I like that's definitely like a Jeff type review, like the mechanical metal ballpoint. Interesting wild colors. So that's going to Jeff. And this one's going to me. I have mangled this tube. I've opened it up so much. All right, so this is Jeff. How do you write direct in, in what's that language? Thank you, Sarah. Really awesome review. Really cool, um, cool pictures today, too. Really good job. I don't like this uh, washi. Where's the thing? What was the language? Again, I, I'm going to butcher it, so I'm not going to say it until I see it again. So this one goes to Jeff. Ogham. 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 Yeah. Really cool. Really cool. So I'll put a link uh, in the Sarah's review to the Wikipedia page for those who aren't familiar. So that goes to me. All right. Um, these are also easy. Corinne. Oh. Where are my cheerleaders at, yo? I so forget to do this. Corinne, 23 months of seven. Let's go. Let's go. Awesome stuff. Thank you so much, Curran. Appreciate you. Sorry the cheers didn't happen. Um, so this is the Secura Craft Lab. This one stays with me because I've been using this. Um, I really want to do this review. This is probably going to be reviewed sooner than later for me. So that is a uh, coming soon. I have a lot to say about this pen. I really love it. And it is really... You got the Brad here even better. You get another... Let's go. Um, this is so many different parts of the, the scale and none of them are in the middle, <laughs> right? That's the kind of reviews that I, that I like. It, it makes it easy to write the review. There's, there is just really not a lot of middle ground in this pen. So, um, that's the secure craft lab. I'll put the box up here. 
but I've been using this pen to get it ready for review. The Jetstream Edge has Jeff written all over it. Like this is typically his forte. But since it's 0.28, I'm considering it for myself. Um, I need to think about this. I, mm, I was going to say I should probably do this one, but my list is getting full here. I need to think about this one some more. That's a me or Jeff pen. What do we have here? Let's just send it to Jeff. Yeah, red 0.28s are in this pen, so red, blue, black in here. I'm going to send this to Jeff. I think he'll do a good job with it. Oh. This I don't know what to do with. It's a uh, haha. I bought it for me, thinking I should try it because it's cool. Wow, the camera does not is not a fan. What if we move some of the other stuff out? Would it do better? The camera has a heartbeat now. Boom, boom, boom. What do you think, Sarah? Do you want this one? You don't have to. God, Lee, it really does not like this ink. So I've been thinking about doing this myself, but like I've got that other light blue ink. Wow, it's still doing it. Sorry, chat, that is super annoying. You would love it? Okay, so this will go to Sarah. Let me get this on Jeff's. I just, I have enough blues recently, but it looks like it's a, uh, yeah, I hadn't been sending you inks for a while. And I actually don't have many inks to hand out, maybe only a couple more. That ink needs a wet broad nib to to really perform the good, then that's definitely Sarah, not me. This is from Jet Pens. Camera doesn't like the flowers, yeah. All right, so that's most of the stuff that was on top of the box. Or on top. Now I have this little bin, which has some older, older stuff, smaller stuff, random stuff. Let's see here. What was that? So this is, this was the, the bin inside the bin. Right, so this has stuff that, like, we're not going to get to all this stuff because we're not going to review all these loose pins in here. We're going to do some. C cameras and concussion protocol. That's exactly right. But there's some cool stuff in here, and I just need to go through it to see what exactly we have going on. Um, oh, look, I'm glad I gave you Haha -ha because Kick You is in here. Look, it's doing it again. Kick You is in here, and I am going to review this because I have a Kick Yo Nakaya that I want to try to match it up with. So that's a me, that's a me ink. So there you go, I didn't even realize this was in here. A lot of this stuff is some of the stuff uh, for me as well, and some giveaway stuff. So Kikyo is me. Perfect, that worked out perfect. This is also me, I ordered this for myself, but I keep not using it, because I keep thinking I'm gonna review it, but I keep thinking I'm probably not going to review it because it's a limited edition that's just pretty much vanished. I don't know if you can still get it. It's like a Bumblebee Pico. It's a black and yellow one. It's very expensive for Picos. It's like double the price of a Pico, but it's rad, right? So I think I'm just going to put this into the let's use it rotation instead of reviewing it. Like 
I've reviewed the Pico. Jeff's reviewed the Pico maybe multiple times. We don't need another Pico review. And I think I'm just going to start using it right now. Because it's glorious. And I've been sitting here not using it, trying to debate what to do with it. Um, so I think the... It is not going in the ice box of happiness. This is this is mine. <laughs> I love you all. This is my pen. Sorry. So we're just gonna uh, set this box to the side, and we're now gonna begin using using this pen. Use it in reviewing the small pen case. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, some of these things just need to go. All right. So this definitely needs to be reviewed. This is the Kakuyo, I don't know what they have a name for, color plan. I don't know. So this is the Kakuyo set of mechanical pencil. Is that still available or was it limited edition? It was limited edition and I believe it was $79. And the regular Pico is 39 or 34. It was like a, it was an outrageous price, but ah, I, I just went and got it. Kakuyo, you usually don't see this good of matching when you get sets like this. So this is a mechanical pencil, 0.7 millimeter mechanical pencil. What size gel? Oh no, this is ballpoint. This is 0.5 ballpoint. And then this is their field notebook, which is that very popular size that I've sold, um, that I got some of my own made, right? So this is a really, really good one. Yeah, so like the, the regular Picos are great for the price. That's, a, that's pretty outrageous. Pico Bumblebee still at gold spot, how much? And what was the story on it? They made it for someone, some region. I don't know if it was like a Japan or China thing. 79, okay, I did have the price right. It is very expensive, so. I think I bought mine from Drom Ghouls when it came out. Japanese exclusive, yeah. So somehow they were able to get them. That means they couldn't sell them for the price. Orange is nice, so we have orange review on the blog. Um... So this is a Sarah or a Jeff item, I think, or me. Let's do Sarah. Oh, I need to write a note on that one. Brad, is this the new camera? No, my wife is gonna work on it today. And the new camera will not be the desk camera, unfortunately. New camera will be face cam. So this is Vaness. Oops. Sarah, what is this? Tipo, the Tipos. Yeah, I got two Tipos in here. I ordered these for me. I should probably just keep these and, and do them. So this is the Tipo roller balls. So the Tipos are cool, like I always say. Um, they're cool because they're the one Lamy that you can swap out the refill. It's not, it may be a proprietary refill, but it fits the, uh, Pilot G2 size refills. So, so yeah, this is a cool ballpoint uh, gel rollerball. Third time's a charm. Charm. So they have the Lamy rollerball refill in here, and then you can swap in the Pilot um, Pilot G2 gel refills. So I usually swap in the Pilot Juice. So that's orange, and then this is petrol. And 
this is the petrol color. So, whoa, man. So yeah, dark petrol. Looks a little greener than the the, the ABS plastic, but because it's uh, aluminum barrel, and then the orange. All right, so which one of these am I giving away to y'all? Let's do a poll. Whichever one wins, I'll give away. So we'll do a poll. Lamy orange, copper orange, or petrol. And then whichever one wins the poll, I'll give away. Yeah, they're aluminum. The barrels are aluminum, then everything else is plastic. Probably shouldn't have put these up before I do a poll. All right. They fixed, they did fix the catch mechanism. It is now a wedge instead of a dot. So it works much better. It is a wedge instead of a dot. All right. Poll. Voting on Lamy Tipo. Color option one is petrol. Option two is orange. And this is set for two minutes. All right, so you do Exclamation point, vote, space, and then the number. You don't have to do the brackets. You gotta do it like uh, exclamation point, vote, space, number. I wish this was. I wish this had a more of just like a clicking interface for the poll. I gotta figure out a better way to do the polls. I don't love. I don't mind the raffle entry. The poll entry is a little awkward. So petrol is zero, orange is one. Petrol is zero, orange is one. And you, what you're choosing is the color of which one I give away. So in theory, you're picking the color you would like to win. You want me to put it. Doesn't Twitch have built-in polls? It might, I'm using um, the Streamlabs OBS. So if Twitch has built-in polls, I should probably look at, I don't ever keep the Twitch backend up. I should probably look at that, huh? If so, that might be nicer than this, in this situation. It does, something mods can do. Okay, I'll look at that. I never keep, I, I don't keep the Twitch uh, backend up at all. 30 seconds left in the poll. Let's see, I can pull it up though. Dashboard manager. <sighs> yeah, there's too many buttons on this screen. I'll have to find it. So I'll look at that later. All right, the poll is done. Petrol wins 37 <laughs> to 17, 37 in a row. So copper orange, that stays with me. I get orange, y'all get petrol, works out. All right, so now let's do the giveaway. <laughs> Chat. Petrol Tipo. 
Whoops. All right. So we're going to open this. I'm going to step away, get some more water, go to the restroom. I'll be back in two minutes with the winner of the petrol teapot. Teapot. Go. Be right back. I'm back. I'm back. Still going? Oh, it's over. All right. <laughs> Third day, Dave. Thanks for the 37 bits. I greatly appreciate that. All right. The winner of that. Like Nate Champion. First time? First time? First time winner like Nate Champion. Oh, in interesting thing about this Tipo, I mean this Pico, the one I'm using, black ink cartridge. I think the other ones come with blue, which makes sense. First time winner, two in a row. Nice. So you have to email me. Type in exclamation point winner. Get the email address, email me. And uh, I will get this petrol out to you. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here. All right. So I'm giving away a Pintel Smash. Pentel hooked me up. They gave me a bunch of smashes. I'm giving away the orange one on the blog this week. We'll probably do another giveaway of one of these on the stream later. Um, and then I have the one from Amazon with the packaging that I'm going to review eventually. So we're just going to hold this stuff. This is going to stay here. Um, we'll do a giveaway for one of these later. Uh, looks like maybe a purple one because that's all the duplicates I have left. So we'll do a purple one later. I mean, I like giving y'all stuff, but like, I, I do need to save some. I can't give it all away today. Um, these are the Kitabashi Tin Bees. I'll probably just keep these for myself, just to play around with. So I bought these on a CW pencil order because I like the half dip barrel. I like the Kitabashi cores, and the Tin Bees are fun to play with. I don't need a dozen of them, but that's just how they come now when you order online. So, we'll keep these. A lot of this stuff is also my stuff, right? Just from um, orders that I haven't put away with. So, I'm keeping these carbon black ink cartridges out. This is the platinum. I'm going to use these for my UEF. 
10B, they must just melt. Yeah. They're very soft, but they're nice. Um, so yeah, these are for me to use with the Platinum UEF nib that I will eventually review. I don't know what that is. Something used to go here. I remember this fountain pen. Anna's reviewed it. I don't see it in here though. Rip. All right, we'll find the packaging for that. Clip ruler. So I think I'm gonna send these to Sarah. These will go in the in the student the student section of her reviews. Pin cut scissors, clip ruler, at least fun stuff to play around with. Um, and can go in the um, uh, the the storage bag. Brad, did you ever find the missing pins? I haven't. I haven't gone on a, a I haven't gone on a big hunt again yet. But I'm missing at least three exceptionally nice pens, and I have a feeling that they're together. All right, so these go in here. Um, I'm trying to see what else I got. Orens 05. I think I got this one because this is a little bit upgraded barrel from the Orens. Let's see. Let's get the nicer things out of here. Well, the more costly things out of here. Well, shoot. Um, yeah, this is like an upgraded Orens barrel. I'll probably review this. Jeff has reviewed a bunch of Orens, so I think I'm going to take that one. And then this little dude is pretty cool. Who makes this? Is this Monteverde? No, this is Delphonics. This is a really neat little Delphonics ballpoint that I like the shape and stuff of. Anyone have the resubscribe option not show up for Prime subscription despite it being the day you were allowed to use it? Yeah, some of that stuff's wonky. I, I won't profess to know. Um, this looks like a Jeff. We'll let Jeff review that one. Jet pens. Played bass for the Delphonics back in the 90s. Did you really? I used to listen to the Delphonics. Mine says it expired today, but I can't resub yet. Hmm. Yeah, like I wish I knew uh, you got an ad too. <laughs> I wish I knew Twitch's. Uh, magic to make all the little weirdness go away but unfortunately it's just too much weirdness especially on mobile i really feel for the mobile users I... all right this is this is for me this is the jet stream refills we use for the roadie but this is a 0.38 millimeter one which i haven't uh i haven't done i haven't used yet obviously so i'm saving that one there it goes one dog night 19 months of summer let's go we got cheers. Cheers. Uh, Diamine Indigo. Seems like a Brad Ink. What are these? This is Vanessa Scribo, Arancio de Sicilia, and Blue Capri. We'll send those to Susan. All right. Indigo. What am I gonna do with indigo? I guess I'm gonna keep indigo. That's probably one I should I should I should use. It worked when you tried the second time. That's so weird. All right, I'm gonna take indigo. That's for me. I'm keeping this too. I'm just gonna show this off to y'all. I don't know if you can buy these or if they were a gift with purchase. I remember I couldn't show it when I got. Um, I wasn't allowed to show it when I got one of my uh, pens, one of my SDs from Kenro because they weren't out yet like they had a delay and had to redo some of them or something like that so they're like hey we sent you this but don't show that one yet because they're not available and we need them to be available so um you can tell i have not used it yet but i'm keeping that i love you all but i'm keeping that one it's pretty sweet pretty pretty sweet all right 
Got some notebooks here. What notebooks do I have? So I have Kakuyo Campus Loose Leaf, and then I have um, Clyde Graph. Oh, which I've used before. So that's cool. So I'm gonna keep this one clearly. And I'll, I don't know what to do with this. I'll keep this and just figure out what to do with it. That's probably why it's at the bottom of this, bottom of the barrel here. Oh, here's that slim fountain pen. I don't know how this goes. Looks like it's got other parts to go with it too. I don't, how does this work? Get in your home. Go home. I don't know how this works. Maybe that's why it's not back in the packaging. All right. And then the rest is just loose random stuff. Clip through the tail part. Are you talking to me? I don't know. You got your Estherbrook washi yesterday? The, the, the stuff I mailed you? Miss G's Crafties? The Esterbrook washi I mailed to you? Okay. I was going to say that was, was like, I know I forgot it, but that was like two months ago. All right. Then we have this. So the inner gels are all here. I think I need to, I don't think I've reviewed those. I gave them away. So there's all the inner gels. Which lead ships with the spoke model four pencil? None ships with it, but you can order the, um, the Pentel uh, five millimeter, the stock Pentel, which is really, really good. I use that uh, lead in a lot of other pencils because it's so good. So these are the new inner gels. What was the name of these? I don't know. I give them away on the blog. All right. This needs to be reviewed soon. This is the new Uniball ones. So let's see. I got two orange ones and a blue one. These need to be reviewed. This is a different color. Those are two different colors, right? Yeah. I know you can't see on stream, but these are two different colors. So let's see. So this is where I put stuff that I want to do something with, but I haven't used yet. Intergel Kuro, thank you. All right, so we have those. Those need to be reviewed soon. That's on the list, that's on my list. Most of this stuff's staying with me. New Pentel sign pen colors. What do they call these now? Brush sign pen. So these are cool, some cool colors for that. Um, who did this one, Sakura? See what good are stickers if they don't even tell you the brand name. Yes, yeah, Sakura. Um, I got this and this from Pentel for, this is an anniversary edition energy of Talmax. You found the buttons. Thank you so much. I appreciate you Talmax. So this was the 50 years uh, Pentel Sharp pencil. I should probably just not have this banging around in the box. And then this was 20 years of Intergel, which is cool. Fredo, thank you for the prime sub. Oh, thanks you for the sub. Let's go. First time subbing. Love it. Thank you so much. So yeah, I should keep those Pentels somewhere else. There's another color of the brush sign pen. That's the new skeleton barrel. Um, Uniball sent me these. These are these I need to review. So this is the Vision Elite, not the Vision Elite. This is a Vision Needle. Vision Needle. Nope, it's not the Vision Needle. Damn it. It's just the Vision. 
but it's an ultra ultra micro tip. So even though they're rollerball, they're supposed to be really, really fine. We'll see. I have yet to test those. And Uniball sent me these 207 pluses, which I don't know what's so special about them. Fancy barrel, I guess. And then we have Microns and other stuff and other stuff. Pilot Fure Fure 0.3 millimeter. Shake pencil. Mechanical 3 millimeter. Bunch of Microns. These are all 0.5 Microns. Which I kind of like. They're a little bit big, but they're cool to write with. I think I had an idea to do something with these, but I already forgot. Whatever. Um, Faber Castell. Mechanical pencil grip. What's that one? Another Kakuyo ballpoint. It's a lot of stuff in here. And then some kind of marker brush pen from somebody pilot <laughs> do you like how i did that it's just this is the box the true box of randomness so i gotta figure out what to do with all this stuff like this is the stuff i like to review i, I rarely send these out um unless they're like a special or an upgrade or something like brand new um to be reviewed um how did you like the uni one? You know, I haven't given them like a full run yet. So that's like at the top of the list out of this batch of pens. So I need to do, I need to review them like pretty quickly. Like these will go on the short list. I need to put them out so I start using them. A job at a stationary place would be dangerous. Yeah. So I actually got these two from a person with a job at a stationary place. That's from uh Slayer at uh, Daiso in San Francisco. She sometimes tunes in here. So she sent me those. So that is exactly where those are from. I really like the design of um, of the Uni one. I like the clip and I like the I like the white barrel and I like the grip. So yeah, I just want to check out the color pigmentation because that's what they're supposed to be <laughs> going to cali this weekend if you're in san fran hit up the daiso <laughs> they're real fine yeah all 0.38s do they even come in something not 0.38 oh you're closer to la there you go yeah yeah, the refill's new. That's the idea with this pen. It's a like a super pigmented color. I think is the is the differentiator from like the 207s and the DXs. Is my understanding. Is that correct? They are not the these are not the same um, as the any other gel ink refill. There's supposed to be a new refill for this. That's why I want to that's why I want to review them. So it's supposed to be a super pigmented color. You know, we'll have to see what difference we can tell in these. So, yeah, there you go. Was there some reason the 307 never fully overtook the 207? I wish I knew. I wish I knew. Because there was actually no difference between those except just the barrel colors, right? Just like the barrel designs. The refill was the same. But then they came out with this 207 Plus. I don't even know what that means. It's almost like they should have just like stopped the 207. But I guess it's maybe like a thing where like Pilot's never going to stop the G2, right? Because that's just what you call the pen. Even though they had the 307, people would just call it a 207. Any good tips for cleaning a demonstrator saddle without getting water between the section and nib housing? <laughs> no, I do that all the time. You can remove the nib. Like, you gotta... The ink was different in the 207, 307, was it? Then I'm, I have that wrong, then. So you can remove the uh, super ink? Yeah, the super ink technology they still use in, they use in the 207s as well, I think. That's what they call their um, um, forge-proof 
ink technology. 307 had some kind of vegetable based ink. Gotcha. Uh, okay. Yeah, that slipped my mind. So maybe it just didn't get it. Maybe they just didn't like it as much. Who knows? I didn't realize that was... I think I even reviewed them. I don't... All right. Let's do one more giveaway. I think I have most of this stuff sorted how I want. Um, I just don't know what to do with all this loose stuff. Black was darker, dried faster, but spread a little bit, bit more. Interesting. Gotcha. Cellulose nanofibers. Hated how it feathered and went back to the 207. All right, what are we going to do here? Sorry, y'all. I'm just thinking for a second, seeing if I need to keep anything out to for myself that doesn't get buried and forgotten again. RT1 or GTFO? I mean, you know I'm a DX guy. At least the RT1 is close to the DX. And I'll stand my ground that they're different. Do y'all think the RT1 is different than the DX? Maybe not the ink composition, but in the feel of the tip, like in like a manufacturing difference. All right, what do we need to do here? Let's take this group, this group. 0.2 RT, RT1 is better than all the other 0.28s. I don't know that I'll disagree with that. But any uni 0.28 is better than well, I say that, I take that back. Never mind. The Slitchy is better. Slitchy, Slitchy.25. See you, Mike. Are you streaming today? I might actually remember to throw it your way today. If I can get organized here. They are totally different. The RT1 actually dries. The DX doesn't seem to dry for me. It smudges like crazy where the RT1 doesn't. Hmm. Yeah, I've never noticed that ink difference, but I've noticed a feel difference. Right now, I sh okay, I'll try to remember to throw it over to you. I'm gonna do one more giveaway that I'm probably gonna wrap it up and go get some work done. But I need to get this done. All right, let's go. Let's see, what have we given away today? Two notebooks and a pen. Should give away another pen. All right, let's see what's in the. Uh, let's see what's over here. I have a Signo DX point three eight black, and the ink will smear like a month after writing. That's crazy. I have never heard that in all my years of of uh, DX love. All right. I got a bunch of these. We haven't done one of these in a while. I love this. Oh, is this the pencil version? This might be the pencil version. What is this? So this is the Enso. God, this is wild. Is the lead going to come out? How do you make this thing work? <laughs> what is this one called? Pencil Uno. So this is the Pencil Uno. Inner gels are amazing. This is a Pencil Uno, but I'm not going to give it away if I can't get the lead to come out. This is wild. How do you make a mechanism that big?
crazy. Crazy. I've never taken one of these apart. That's cool. All right, if I can get this to work, I'm gonna give it away. If I can't, we'll pick something else. That is really neat. Kalito has a pencil refill, isn't that what they use? Maybe. Because they use, the other ones are Pilot High Tech C's. These are the coolest. Oh no, I think I have a broken piece of lead in here. Come on, dude. You know you want to work. There we go. All right. Just took a minute. All right. We're working now. So, Pencil Uno. This is the companion to the Pen Uno, which fits the High Tech C refill. So, I'm guessing... Uh, what Mafia Geek's saying, maybe this is the uh, Kalito refill that's also engineered to have a mechanical pencil. I just love fidgeting with these. They're really cool, really nice. So let's give this away, and then we'll call it a day. We'll call it a stream. We got through what we needed to do, which is a miracle. <clears throat> yeah, these are really cool pens. This is uh, Enso that's done, gone. This was Enso's first the uno was the first product not the pencil the pen and then um they've gone on to make like a ton of other different like fountain pens pocket pens they're always coming up with something titanium pens sleechy refill and the technica barrel is a great setup i agree with that not enough people make that move so this is Pencil, pencil uno. Yeah, these tubes are cool. All right, let's uh, let's give this away. So, pencil uno. Hit them up. I'm gonna switch this camera back. You're gonna get a lovely look at my face. It's amazing. Um. Let's get this little name tag ready. Technica is the, um, it's called the uh, Pentel Hybrid Technica. It's Pentel's gel ink pen that never took off, but it, but it has a standard width plastic barrel and a rubber grip so that you can swap your Sleechy refills into them and get out of the trash barrels that the Sleechy's the trash barrels that the Sleechies use. So you can buy the hybrid Technicas and put in the Sleechy gel refills and get a more standard gel plastic barrel. So they're really good. Just in time for the giveaway. Nice. And the Technica is awesome in its own right. Yeah, it's been around for a long time. Not a lot of people, they don't they don't sell many of those. They don't really market it. I don't know why, because yeah, it's good. You know, I guess the Energel is the main pen. But you can get them at like Staples and things like that. And order obviously order them online, but... They're not hard to find. They're just not in a lot of places. Sorry, that was um, transmission, Joy Division transmission. I, I cut that one off real quick, <laughs> so you didn't you didn't get many uh, notes to name that tune. But uh, yeah, <laughs> all right, pick a winner. Brooks. Mr. Brooks, I think he will put this to good use, honestly. All his note cards, all his recipes. I feel like a, a this could be a recipe um, writing pencil. I think this will come in handy. You got, and I'm even making you, no special, 
No specialness for Mr. Brooks. He's got to email me too. No special rules for Brooks. Email or GTFO. <laughs> All right, y'all. Amazing stream today. Um, thanks for allowing me to work through this stuff. Normally what I would do with this big bin of stuff is throw it all on my bed and sort out piles. Raid Mike, do not let me forget. I will raid Mike. I'm a, actually, I'm going to put up the screen now so I don't forget. Um, normally I just throw all this stuff on my bed and sort out the different piles for everybody. And I've just been forgetting to do it. And... Um, yeah, I'm glad we could do it on stream today. This is what my head does. This is what goes on in my head when I'm sorting out uh, review stuff. And we had a lot of stuff to get out. I really needed to clean this clean this pile up. So do not do a pen attic bed stream. No worries. No worries. So um, three days in a row of streaming feels pretty good. Um, we want to keep this going. So I'll be back next Tuesday. Um, Depending on how the weekend goes, maybe we jump in. I'm not promising anything. Like I say these things all the time and I never come through on them. One of these days I'm going to come through. So turn on your alerts and uh, so I can get some extra days in Twitch. So definitely uh, give me a follow. Turn on those alerts and uh, make sure you know what's up whenever uh, I go live. Because we're always doing fun stationary stuff. So that's it. Y'all hang out. Go see... Go see what Mike's playing today. Anyone know what he's playing today? I haven't uh, put up the thing yet. Let's see. Playing No Man's Sky. Ooh, No Man's Sky is the best. So we should uh, we should play No Man No Man's Sky together one day. That's amazing, y'all. No Man's Sky is a really fun game to watch someone stream. It's very, very cool. Lots of stuff to do. Y'all have fun. Say hi to Mike for me. Bye. <laughs>